Hello everyone, welcome back to another live stream on the channel. It's been a long time since I've said that, but it's good to be back. And today we have got a, a lot of things to go through. Um, I've kind of came back to live stream at exactly the wrong time, but I guess this is the time where we're going to have the, the most debate because Leicester City have just fallen off an absolute cliff. Um, so yeah, tonight the plan is to try and dissect where it's all gone wrong. Um, if we can improve the rest of the season, how is that going to happen? We'll look ahead to the Norwich game, obviously tomorrow. We'll look back on the Bristol City game as well, which obviously was on Friday. And we'll have a little prediction of how the championship table is going to end up in those pro in, in, in those promotion spaces. Because who cares about the bottom? But if Leicester carry on, we probably will we'll, we'll, we will end up down there. Um, but yeah, last streams are back. Welcome back, boys. It's good to be back. Um, but yeah, just make sure to let me know your thoughts in the live chat and the comments if you're watching this one back. What's gone wrong? Um, obviously, I'll, I'll give you my thoughts on it, but it's hard to really pinpoint a certain area. Now, some people will be saying, oh, it's Enzo's fault. Some people are saying it's players' fault, blah, 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 blah. Personally, I think it's a combination of a lot of different things. Well, I'll go for that in a minute. Um, we have the ability of a Premier League team, the mentality of a nine-year-olds. of nine, of nine year olds. Yeah, that's partly the reason I agree. Uh, hello, Graham, mate. Welcome back. Good to see you. Ethan, good to see you as well. Um, Vata, we win tomorrow. Yeah, it's must-win, 100%. It's a definition of, of a must-win game because, you know, we've been getting lucky, really. Ipswich obviously won, but they've dropped points in the last couple of weeks. Leeds dropped points. Southampton, uh, I don't know about that. I think they're still kind of in it a bit, but... You know, if we lose, if we don't pick up three points tomorrow and Ipswich and Leeds get three points, yes, we've got a game in hand, but it's against Southampton and do lesser turn up big games? No. So, I, you know, it's good to have that game in hand, but are we going to get three, three points from it? I can't see it, can't see it right now. Um, already not confident, but if we don't win tomorrow, I reckon that sort of is gone. Yeah, it's tough. Let's, let's, let's have a look at this league table because, you know, if you actually look at it, it's not that bad. But if you look at our performances, it is bad. Um, so, yeah, I'll see we slip down to third. If we win tomorrow, we, we'll go top. Obviously, we have the half 12 kickoff yet again. Um, that game in hand there, obviously. But the performances, oh. Just like, I don't know who, I can't remember who said it. But yeah, we do have the mentality of, of, a, of a team of nine year olds. Because I saw a stat earlier. After Bristol City scored, we had, we had two touches in their box. Two. Two touches. And bearing in mind, the second half, I don't think we were actually that bad before they scored. We, you know, we had numerous chances. And to have two touches in their box since they scored in about 20 minutes of football, it's absolutely ridiculous. And the mentality of the squad is so poor. And that's why we need to make some changes tomorrow. And, I, and personally, I'd, I'd have Conor Cody straight into that side. 100%. Because, don't get me wrong, I don't think he's had the best of starts at Leicester. But... You know, when, when he has played, he played against Bournemouth. We won that. We played really well. Played against Sunderland. Didn't play too well, but, gr but grinded out a big win. So, I'll play him tomorrow. I would 100% play, play Conor Cody tomorrow because I just think we need some leadership. Because right now, the squad just keeps bottling in it. And, you know, I can see it happening tomorrow. We'll have numerous chances. We should be 2 3 it up. Norwich will grab one goal. And then it's curtains from there because we just can't seem to come back and... Right now, I just can't work it out because to start the season, we were doing really well. We kept scoring goals late on in games, which, you know, I thought Leicester have turned the corner because it's usually the opposite way around. But since the commentary game, since the Leeds game, oh, I don't know, man. I really do not know. Uh, and a certain individuals as well who we should, who we should go for. Um, uh, KD, yeah, I, yeah, that's one player I want to talk about. Do, do Spruill. Hasn't been at it in recent weeks at all, and he obviously, and partly the reason why I don't think he's getting much stick is because he's he's brutal. He's he's the local lad, and same as Vardy. Obviously, Vardy's an absolute legend for us. But if Pats and Daka missed those chances Vardy did on Friday, he would have got absolute dogs abuse for it. And you know, once again, Vardy should be scoring. Uh, at least play Hall and Ipswich away. Play Southampton not easy for both. Uh, we play early, so. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I mean. Play, playing early does have its advantages. If we can just get a nice three points tomorrow, we can relax. We've done our job and, and see what, and see what else happens. And yeah, the slight positive is, is if you look at Ipswich, we'll go for each team a bit later. Ipswich have got a very tough run and they've got some very tough games. And just like I say, Leeds have got a tough game against Hall City tomorrow as well. But to be fair, Leeds haven't lost at the road all season. So that's going to be a tough one. But even like a point or something, it always helps. Um, Ipswich can blow teams away. Why can't we? To, to be fair, Greg, right now, I don't really care. Um, 
if we can just win one nil tomorrow from an own goal, I'd take it. We just I don't care about performances. I don't I'm not fussed about blowing teams away right now. It's just about getting three points. And you know, pe- people keep banging on about oh performance was good. Yes, we didn't play that bad against Bristol City in parts. We created a load of chances, but we didn't score. I don't really care at this point of the season because you know, we just need results and it's a business end of the season. What we've got eight games left. I don't care how less to play now. I really couldn't give Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, that's Rory how we were at. It's terrible when we go down 100%. And, you know, it's been it's been the case it's in, in, in multiple games. If you look at the QPR and, and Middlesbrough game, we concede one fall apart and then we concede two. And then you got an absolute mountain to climb. And then we get one goal back. But then then you got to get another goal and then another goal. And, you know, that's two six points dropped just like that at home. And when's the last time Leicester won at home? I haven't seen us win a league game for a, for a, a long time and I go to pretty much every game. Um, Leicester Fox, good to see you, mate. Um, you can play 10 miles an hour, it's awful. Yeah, I think the style the style is not going to change, but I think at times it does need to be a bit quicker, especially the last 15 minutes. Just get the ball forward. I know I sound like a, you know, a blue monkey, but you know what I mean? Just get it forward. One nil. Yeah, exactly that. And that that's what that's how you win titles. And that's what Leicester did when when Leicester won the Premier League. We keep we you know we didn't, we didn't the, the performances weren't outrageously good. Obviously they were very good because because we won the Premier League. But you know we we grinded out and got one nil wins and, and and that's how you win the leagues. But yeah, I think we should talk a bit more about this Bristol City game because obviously I I did a bit at the at the, at the end of the vlog. But obviously I was I was very frustrated and, and the away end was. Um, very frustrated after that Bristol City game, which is um, which I don't really blame. Um, we are we are going to compare the Bristol City game on Friday to the Bristol City home game we had back in well back when Leicester were good. Um, so yeah, the team itself, um, Hamza Charge should not be playing for tomorrow. Definitely not. I don't know if, if Callum Doyle available to play tomorrow. I don't know how these suspension rules work because it's, it used to be free, but it, it seems to be changing these days. Personally, I wouldn't have Justin in there either. Um, and I wouldn't have Mark, Mark Faz in there either. Um, I'll go through my team, but I'd make wholesale changes at the back. I would take Vardy out. Um, I'll keep this midfield free. Obviously, Ricardo hopefully will come in for Chowdhury. Um And I'd probably take Mavadidi out, in fairness. Um, now, People was people will say he was poor on on Friday, which yeah he was. But if 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 you look at it, he he got zero support, and that's why that's why I I, I drop Justin because I just don't rate him, and I've said it for so many, I've said it for ages on this channel. I just don't rate him at all. I think you know he's done well for us at times, but defensively he seems to get beaten too easily. And then going forward, he has the odd run, but just seems a bit tentative at times. And I don't know if Enzo said that or not, but when Callum Doyle plays, he usually, I, don't know, I just prefer him. He usually plays that cross field pass to the other winger. And, and, you know, we were playing well and start the season, Justin and Callum Doyle were both fit and Enzo chose Doyle. So Doyle, I think Doyle should, should, should be starting. It's the same as Dakar because start of the season, Dakar didn't get a look in at all. So how, yeah, obviously he didn't play against Bristol City, but he suddenly become our like first choice striker from nowhere. Oh, I just don't get it. Uh, yes, he can, Scott, he's scored a few goals for us, but apart from Leeds, which is um, hmm, less than about that game, the better. Um, I hated that night. Uh, we need to take our chances 100%. And that's what and that's what we've been lacking because, you know, I, I saw a clip on Twitter. We've had about 18 massive chances in the last, what, five or six games. And if Leicester take them chances, we wouldn't be sat here having this conversation and we would be realistically about three wins away from promotion. And right now we're third somehow. Um well, not somehow, we just can't score. Uh, or, um, yeah, exactly that. We just need to have a go a bit more. And we're so focused on playing this, you know, the style, which has worked. But at times, just have just have a go. You know what I mean? Um, Charges commit, but not a right back. Yeah, he's committed, but I just don't rate him at all. And, yeah, I think he's all right defensively-ish. But he doesn't, he, he doesn't suit that inverted role at all. And, obviously, Ricardo was, you know, he's, he's dealing with a slight injury. But hopefully, hopefully he, he, he can be back. Uh, Josh was <laughs> uh, which are goated enough to maintain first. Um, I don't think they will, to be fair, because um, they've got they've got a very tough runner. Um, kind of want to see Ricardo hundred percent. If Ricardo starts tomorrow, I think we'll win. I just think it makes that much short of, of a difference because he can win the ball back just like that, and on the ball he's fantastic as well. He's levels above Hamza Chowdhury. Um, yeah, hundred uh, percent. Well, good, good evening. Um, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm going to compare the. Um, actually, let's have a quick. Let's have a, have a look at this Bristol City game. I want to, I want to see the, uh, the the average positions because 
Yeah, it's kind of what I expected, really. Um, see, see what I mean? Chowdhury is just playing incredibly. When, when Ricardo is playing, he's on the, he's next to Winks. And I thought Fatou, to be fair, has been pretty poor as well. Uh, I can't lie. Um, obviously, obviously, we, we 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 all love him, but I think he's been poor. And the whole squad's been poor, but I think some individuals have been um, start, slightly more poor. And, and just look at that. How we should be scoring here. We have to be scoring here. And the yeah, first half was, was was even. We weren't great, but second half before they scored, Leicester were very good. And we just, I just, uh, just it's just Vardy to be fair. Um, simple as that, really. And just like I said, if Daka missed them chances, um, yeah, he would have got earned box abuse. But I don't, I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't really know how, how how to pinpoint it. What exactly is going wrong? Um, the style. Have teams worked us out? I don't think they have. I don't think they've worked us out. I think they have slightly, but not completely, because they're still creating good chances. And just like I said, if Vardy scores them goals, we sit here saying, "Oh, Le- Leicester have just picked up a big two 0 win away from home." And, you know, but at the end of the day, it's just the chances, really. And I think at times we we do need to manage games better. Ends up, you know, he doesn't make a single sub, and then as soon as Bristol City score, bang, the subs will come on. It's too late then. We need to be a bit more proactive and you know especially this time of the season where we've got a game on Monday you have to be making more changes you've got Ricardo sat on the bench you got Ian Acho who I don't who I think should be starting um because if you think about it Leicester's best football this season was from the start of the season to what end of December and most of that was rotation between between Kelechi and, and, and Vardy so how can Kelechi suddenly frozen up you know, you must be stinking it up in, in training, but I just can't work out how Daka is. You know, can see if Daka starts tomorrow, you know, what I mean, it's like why, but um, you know, Bournemouth game, uh, you know, we played so well in that game, so well. We made numerous changes. Ian Atcher came on, held it up brilliantly. And tomorrow, I would play Wanya Marcel, honestly, because just give the guy a chance, you know, what I mean, because I think Mavadidi, apart from the Chelsea goal, has been uh, apart from that, I don't think he scored. In, in, in 2024 and what that's at least 10 15 games so um yeah our form since christmas has been worth 400 percent i think to be fair i think the commentary game did ruin us a bit i can't lie um just it, i don't know i think the mentality took a bit a big beating from that one but it's just typical leicester when's the last time leicester performed well end of the season probably when when we won the league we bottled top four two seasons in a row Season before that, under Brendan, when he first came, we were all right. But well, you know what I mean? We just never end season as well. And that season, let's not talk about that. Um, everyone's been poor, 100%. Um, I love Vardy. Uh, everyone does. But yes, eh, 100%. Uh, I think LCFC has played Bassi. I'll take him too far over Wu at the minute. Um, when we score, I'm never convinced. Yeah, 100%. And we just, some games, we need to take advantage. Yeah, just score a few more. Be 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 a bit more ruthless. And I think the players at times think they've done the job. Like the Bristol City game, I could just tell. Oh, it's, it's still nil nil. There's there's 25 minutes left. We'll be alright. We'll you know we'll 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 grab a late goal. And yeah, it just doesn't. And you could just you can see it coming from an absolute mile off. All them chances. They they go down the other end. 25 yard, great goal. And there and there you go. And from that we you know we don't get forward. So um. Don't know. Um, I'm just scared of what's going to happen if we don't go. Can't sign Fat away players will leave. I haven't even talked about that. Yeah, um, exactly that. And promotion is pivotal. It's promotion or bust, really. And if we do get playoffs, I think everyone's going to agree on this. If Leicester go in the playoffs, we are not going up. No chance. Every single big game we've had this season, bar Southampton, where bearing in mind at the time they were just starting and they, you know, I think they lost five 0 to, to Borough the the week before. So I wouldn't even count that. But every single big game, Leeds lost twice to them. Ipswich bossed it twice in, in in the last minute. And you know, tomorrow's a big test as well against Norwich. You know, they're 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 on a fantastic run of form, and you know, I I, I think they'll get playoffs. Commentary second game, lost that. I don't, I don't, red card or not, but you, you know what I mean? It's like, Hull City, lost to them. It's like, we just don't perform in, in these big games. Um, uh, Leeds destroyed us. Yeah, 100%. That was a horrible, horrible night. Um, sometimes it's like we go 1-0 up and then we defend the 1-0 lead, 100%. Um, I think we should play two up top collection Vardy. Yeah, I don't think Enzo would, would, would do it, but I wouldn't be against it. So I just mix it up at times, you know what I mean? But that's 
that, that that's one thing with um with Enzo. He's he, he's not he's not going to change it. There's no chance. He's very stubborn, which I think a lot of managers like like, like that are. Does Pep change his style? No, but Pep's style works. So and and, and Enzo's style ha, has worked. It's just I don't know. I don't, I don't think it should be blamed on Enzo too much. I think the, the the only thing on Enzo is just his game management. But apart from that, it's just down to the to to, to the players. I think because. Yeah, you just got to take the chances and start the season. We were, and yes, at times we we got a bit lucky, but I think the mentality right now, um, yes, don't know, really don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, where do we go from this? It's just so tough. I think you know what. Let let's move on. We'll try and discuss the Norwich game a bit because you know that's literally tomorrow, and that's a massive game for us. So um, yeah, the team I'd go with tomorrow is um, is this one. If he wants to load. There we go. Right. So let me know your thoughts on this. I've got my Madsen goal, obviously. Right back, Ricardo. Um, I put Justin there. I don't know if Callum Dodd is fit or not. So um, you know, if Callum Dodd is fit, I'll have him there. Oh no, not fit. If, if, if he's available. Um I've got my best God and Cody. Now I know that's a, a very slow partnership, but I just think in recent weeks, Bout ha hasn't been great. I don't think Western God ha has been either, to be fair, but I'd go with them too. I just think, you know, mo most experience and I just yeah, that's what I go. I I I'd keep the midfield four slash three the same really because what who else we've got Dennis Pratt. Um, to be fair, pretty good job if Caste was still here. I can't lie. Um, then the front three I've gone with that. I've gone with Wanya on the left, Ketchy up top, and and Fatawu, um across. Obviously that's inter is interchangeable now. Mavadi is a tough one because you know he saw that great goal against Chelsea and I, I thought that that would be the turning point for him, but. He's still in the gaff up against Bristol City. I can't lie, and, and so did Fatou, to be fair. But Fatou is Fatou, and I think I think with Fatou, he just at times he can be absolutely unplayable, and that's why I think we do need him. And you know, if if Fatou can get at that fullback tomorrow, he can bring us a lot of joy. And I think I just think Kelechi really do. I fancy Kelechi to tomorrow. You know, he scored against Norwich in in your game. If McAteer's fit, I'd potentially have ha have him in there as well. Tom Cadden, if he's fit, I'd have him above Vardy and Dakar as well. But, you know, I, don't, I just don't know about injuries because obviously that hasn't been a, a press conference before this one. So that's a team I, I would go with. I wouldn't be against Mavadidi starting there, but yeah, I would like to see a bit of rotation across the back line because I think that has let it down a lot. And obviously, all front has as well. But yeah, that's my personal thoughts tomorrow. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the chat. Um, no, you won't go for a playoffs, definitely not. Um, opinions on the goal. Cheers, Harwood, man. Cheers. Um, fear about atmosphere on the ground tomorrow. <sighs> yeah. Oh, it's bad anyway, isn't it? But, um, yeah, it, it, to be fair, it, it did get very toxic um, towards the end of that Bristol City game. And I don't blame him. I don't blame us, to be fair. To, personally, I just stood there in silence. Um, I didn't clap them, obviously, because of what? Why, why, why would he clap that? You know, woke up at 10 to 6 in the morning for that. Like, no, so yeah, it's just a tough one. I just hope we go one that up tomorrow early and we just get a simple win. But Leicester don't do simple, so yeah. If Leicester lose tomorrow, it's probably going to be booze. Um, I can't lie, and it's warranted really because people say, "Oh, you, you, you know, you, you're, you're third in the league, you're doing well," but you know, we're just blowing like a fifteen point lead or seventeen. You know, got to tell the players um, how it is. Um, it's either go up, put point deduction in the Premier League, or stay down. Can't sign anyone, and probs get point deduction in the Championship. Yeah, hundred percent. If the Championship, the the, well, the EFL will give Leicester um, a bigger point deduction than than the Premier League, I think, because well, they've they've, they've already given us a transfer embargo already in in March slash April. So, so yeah, I think I think that tells you everything. But I think if Leicester do go up, the points deduction will probably be about six, which you know. If Leicester can sign players in the summer, it's not out of the question that we do that 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 we couldn't survive. But obviously, it'd be incredibly tough. But I just think financially, just going up, and even if we did come straight back down, I don't. I think it'd be much better than than staying in the, in the championship. Because if Leicester stay in the championship, let's be honest, we are going to lose a hell of a lot of players. Probably Winks will go. Them top players, Fatou will not be staying, and yeah, it'll just be a, a, a bit of a nightmare. And even Enzo. Would he stay? I don't know. I really don't know because you know if, if Enzo can't get the signings in the summer he wants, if we stay down, he's never going to stay. And it doesn't look, like, and it, you know, and I don't, I don't think he will because we probably won't be able to sign anybody. So I, yeah, who knows? 
Um, Enzo game management is off. We need him to bring on the subs earlier. Uh, like, hey, I uh, hate to be negative, but if we don't go this year, it could be sort of a big downfall. Yeah, 100% agree. And I think the fan base knows that. Um, and I think that's why everyone got so, you know, annoyed at Bristol City on, on Friday. Uh, Nor- Norris for us. Yeah, I think they will. Um, I don't know if that'll suit us or not. Uh, probably not because you can't defend. But um, yeah, it's a tough one tomorrow because Norwich are on, on, on a good bit of form and they are an interesting side. But the, the only positive thing is they've been pretty poor away from home all season. So, but yeah, if you know if Leicester can win tomorrow, that would be a massive, massive three points, and I really hope we can do so. But um, yeah. I don't, I don't know what to make of Norwich. They're an interesting side, but I've ha, ha, got some tricky players who, if we're not on it, are going to tear us apart. So, um, uh, what, do you, what do you need in order to reach that European... Oh, Jesus. Um, a lot of money, really. That I, 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 I think that's it, to be fair. You know, if you look at the type of money Villa and Newcastle were spent to get there, I just think that's what we need. And, you know... If we do, if we do get promoted and stay up, we could potentially push on from there. But that, but that's a long way away. Um, hopefully, it is. I just, yeah, hundred percent. Um, that was fair. Home games this season has been pretty bad. I hope it improves tomorrow. But potentially, yeah, I don't think it, it will improve tomorrow. I can't lie. Pretty probably get worse. Uh, my first. Um, Robert Diddy's very inconsistent. Yeah, he is. Um, our atmosphere. Sk one just needs to move the away fans. Yeah, the club are never going to do that though. They got they got different priorities. They they they, they can't balance the books. So I think you know they got the old stuff to focus on than that. But yeah, hundred percent agree. That team you picked is good enough, but do they have the self belief? Yeah, ex- yeah, the team. Yes, I think we can name up multiple teams which should be good to beat Norwich. I can't lie. Um, with the experience we've we've got on the side, but I just yeah, I don't know. I, I do think we'll win tomorrow. Part, partly because I, I'm not going, because um, I, I think I'm cursed. But I think it, it, if Ricardo plays tomorrow, I think we could do it. But I think it all depends on that because that that role for us is so important. And obviously, it's just it's it's only one player, but I think arguably that inverted role is the most important role in, in the whole side, really, because that's what gives us the you know the numerical advantage in midfield. So and obviously, Ricky's a fantastic player as well. Um, Uh, we were seven, seven, was it 17? Yeah, to be fair, I've, I've tried not to look at anything since the Bristol City game. Um, what the suits are to start? Um, yes, yeah, so another one. I, I, I wouldn't be against suit R, but then again, he hasn't to fade, he, he has played in international, so yeah, I don't know. I think suit is a good player, he's definitely gonna leave in the summer, but yeah, I don't know. There could be something else between him, him and Enzo, I don't know, but it's, it's it, it is a strange one. He doesn't even seem to get in the squad at all either. So, um, yeah. Uh, we need, um, I think a 2 to win tomorrow. I'll oh, snap your hand off for that. I'll take anything. Um, but, yeah. Um, there has been a bit of transfer news from... Um, well, I don't really know why why we're going to talk about transfer news when we probably can't sign anybody. But, yeah. Um, Leicester interested in, in, in Morgan Whit- in Morgan Whitaker, um, Which, yeah, we should be interested. I think he's a good player. But... Yeah, it has been a few transfer bits, which which you'll, which you'll obviously get. It's been this one as well. Um, I don't know who he is, to be fair, but yeah, it's, uh, this guy's a very unreliable guy. So yeah, I won't make too much of that one. But I think this transfer stuff and the point deduction or or, or, or whatever, um, I don't know what to make of it. Um, I think our accounts should get published pr- pretty soon, though. Um, it should be interesting to see just how bad it is, which I honestly think it will be absolutely awful. So we'll have to see. But um, yeah, it's hard to say, but. Right now, I just don't really trust anybody at this club. But anyway, I think we should have a quick look at um, the rest of the season and how this table is is going to end up because uh, I think it I think it will go down to the wire. And I wouldn't I wouldn't write Leicester out of it just yet, um, even though I think there was a quite a few people saying that on Friday, which is pretty reactionary, I think. But um, yes, yeah, so obviously we've got two points to make up. Um, we have got that game in hand. As I've said, but I don't think we'll win that one. We've still got West Brom to play as well. But if you look at Leeds' fixtures, um, if we can see them. So, yeah, we've got, they've got Hall tomorrow, which is a tough game. Coventry away, which is tough as well. So, that's, you know, potentially some drop points there. Sunderland at home, tough. Blackburn home, you know, fairly tough. Then they've got Borough away. That's a tough one as well. QPR, 
it's, you know, they, they, they have got some difficult games, but it's still winning good leads. It's just dropping points. But if we don't pick up the points ourselves, it's pointless, isn't it? But yeah, that's a slight positive, I think. But then again, we, we do have some tough games ourselves, but we have got the likes of Millwall, Plymouth all coming up as well. So yeah, they're, they're um, leads as games. Uh, let's have a good Ipswich. I know they've got a tough run in as well, which is um, which is good. But then again, I think every game right now is tough because everyone's fighting for something. And the only team which weren't fighting for anything is Bristol City, and we can't even beat them. So, but yeah. Um, so Ipswich got Southampton tomorrow, tomorrow, which is going to be a big one. Then they got the East, Ang- then they got Norwich in the East a- a- Angular Derby. So, you know, they have dropped points to them. Um, I think it was was it two two? I think so. Um, so. So you know, once again, the two games there. And Leicester need to capitalise on this. Got Watford, which you know Le- needs to come beat them. Borough again, Coventry again. Well, that's, yeah, that's down there. Um, Hull away again. So. so but, Ipswich and Leeds are pretty much playing the exact same games, which is which is pretty surprising. And then they've got Huddersfield at home to wrap it up, which is going to be a, a guaranteed three points in that one. So, you know, if, if you look at their fixtures, I can't see it being 100% at all. I really can't. Even, you know, these two, Hull, Hull and Cobb away in the space of a few days, surely they don't get maximum points from that. But I just don't know with Leicester. Um, I won't put Southampton completely out of it because you never know. They have shown us that they can go on some runs. But obviously for us, we've got Norwich tomorrow, then Birmingham City at home. If we do not win that Birmingham City game, it's completely done. But realistically, six points there, surely. But And that's what I mean. If we have to, These two games as well, we have to be winning them too. We've got to be winning them too. And if we, do, if we do get maximum points, we can afford to drop points in these games, potentially. And then it does get tough in, in, in those last four games. But these next four fixtures are absolutely pivotal. And if we don't take at least, what, 10 points from them as a bare minimum or nine, it's curtains from them. Because you know, we've got another half 12 game again against West Brom. Um, Southampton's going to be it's gonna, it's gonna obviously gonna be tough. Preston's going to be tough, I think. And Blackburn, final game of the season at home. You would expect us to win that one. But... Yeah, it's oh, it's hard, but if you just look at our recent form, it's hideous. It's so poor. Our, our last, what our last league win at home was Sheffield Wednesday. When was that? February. Uh, yeah, so long ago. It feels like an absolute age ago. Cool. Well, I don't think we're too bad in that one. Sunderland, we played poor, but got the win, and that's what we need to do. We've already talked about that. Chelsea, I thought we weren't too bad. I can't lie. Um, Bournemouth was fantastic. Leeds, apart from the last 15 minutes, was very good. Probably our best performance of the whole season, if that, if that could shoot. Borough at home was shambolic. Uh, and, yeah, so, I mean, our home record home record has been very poor. Look, we've, our home record is fifth best in the league. Fifth. I think away we're top, aren't we? Yeah, so, yeah, home record has been very poor. We just keep losing games and games and games. And that's why I think tomorrow, if we just get that quick start, get the first goal, we should, we should do it. But then again, in the last couple of home games to Borough, to QPR, we've gone 1-0 down, we've fallen apart, we've been conceded once again. And then, just like I said, mountain to climb, mountain to climb after that one. So, um, that is the running. Personally, how I see it, um, I was going to try to be positive on here. I, what, I do think that's the, we'll, we'll still go up. I do. Automatics. Um, and personally, I think, oh, I don't know, it's tough, but... I, I'm kind of edging Leeds to, to fall out of the top two. I can't lie. And I would love that to happen. Um, I just, I don't know, something tells me, something tells me that Leeds will, will fall short. And I'm probably, I'm probably going to regret saying that, but um, that's how I see it. I think Leicester, I think, I think Ipswich would actually win the league. And then Leicester come, to come second, Leeds third, and then what, Southampton, West Brom and probably Hull or something like that. But yeah, I just, that's my, um, that's my take. It's probably it's probably quite quite unpopular, but that's when I see it. Um, so yeah, da, 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 da. right. Uh, the only winners in the FFP are the lawyers. Yeah, and that's what I mean. I, you know, we said this numerous times, but you know, you've got a team sat at the top of the well, third now in the Premier League on a hundred and fifteen charges, and you know they're more bothered about punishing Leicester. So yeah, and I've said about that. The better. I don't want to see Fabio next season. He doesn't take on his man. Really? Oh wow. I think recently season hasn't been great, but um, yeah. Uh, 
mad how much we've fallen off, but I guess it's just uh, how grateful the Kiwi should be uh, for what we achieved with the FA Cup. Yeah, but I just don't think that's, I don't think that, that, that's the mentality to look back on it. Because, um, yes, there have been some fantastic achievements, but how have we gone from that in the space of a few years to this? Really, yeah. um, it's just it's still crazy how, how Leicester are or even in this league. But, um, but hello, Scott, good to see you, mate. Hope you're doing all right. Um, has Moresco lost the dressing room or, or losing? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. I still think the players. Uh, I think obviously, I think Winston in two the other day saying he's the best manager he's ever worked under, and obviously, obviously, he is an into, and he's not going to say he's the worst. But I just, I don't think he's lost a dressing room. But you know, if we if we don't win the next what three games, I, I don't know. But I think Enzo still has full belief of, of, of the players. Uh, hundred percent. I think that. Um, I just, I think Enzo's going to stick to his ways because it it has worked. And I think all it takes is is a big win, and then we could potentially push on. I just think the players are lacking quite a bit of confidence right now, and I think they are lacking a slight bit of belief in in the system. But then again, they seem very robotic to keep playing that same way. So it'd be interesting. Um, Scott knows, he knows. Drop a light. It's good to be back. Anyway, yeah. Oh, obviously, I, I haven't done a live for a long time. I think since transfer deadline day. I'm actually go, going away tomorrow for five days, so I won't be doing anything then. But after that, I'll try to get back on the lives as consistently as possible because I think it's a much better way content-wise and as a creator as well. Um, it's just it's, it's, it's a lot easier, to be fair, than, than filming a whole video, than editing it. Uh, it yeah, it's easier, isn't it? Um, Move all the way, yeah. I'm, I'm tempted to go there again. But obviously, I, mean, I only did it in January, so I don't know. Um, we've been sporting in the last few years, but we've overachieved. Uh, completely honest, it's now a drop back to reality. But we don't belong in the championship. Yeah, that's true. Uh, QPR, we were dreadful. Yeah, who do you think starts Vardy, Ian Atchel, Dak or Cannon? Um, my personal preference would be Ian Atcho. I, would, I wouldn't be against Callum, but I don't know if he's fit. But I'd say, uh, who, who do I think will start, though? I think he'll start Dakar, to be fair. But I, I'd, I'd like Ian Atcho. I've just named all, all three out of the four. Um, rather less than Ipswich make automatics, but can't see less than making playoffs. Yeah, uh, to be fair. The, the only good bit about playoffs is that you get a hell of a lot more money. I think it's, you know, it's, it's labelled the most expensive game in football, but... Do we win the playoffs? Do we even get to the final? I don't think so. So you have to. It's, it's automatic or nothing. Um, Ipswich are doing what we did. Yeah, exactly that. Um, I don't think it's a mentality either. We we belong in the Premier. We've fallen off more than we should. Yeah. Uh, whereas kind of, I think he, I think he's injured again. But I just, he just gets injured all the time. And you know, I keep forgetting we've, we've signed him for seven million or something like that. And it's. You know, right now it's looking like an awful piece of business, but I just hope he can get back to his best because he has shown glimpses of good stuff. And start of twenty twenty four, you know, scored against Huddersfield, a fantastic goal. Played, played, played really well against Mill uh, in the cup, and you know, since then he just hasn't really. Um, yeah, yeah, it's true. He hasn't even. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably not Seagrove, isn't it? So. Yeah, Seagrove being Seagrove. But um, yeah, boys, we have hit the half an hour mark. I'll probably stay on for a, for a bit longer, but um, yeah. But yeah, Norwich at home tomorrow. Um, just like I say, it's a must, must-win game. Um, the way I see it is, if we if we met, if we met that fast start, I think we get the three points. But, um, you know, if we get to half-time, we missed a few big chances, I can just picture it. Nor Norwich will score through like Josh Sargent or something. And then, yeah, it'd be, I think it'd be curtains. But yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think we need to make at least four 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 or five changes tomorrow. Um bit of freshness, bit of experience in the squad, and hopefully we can go on and push on and get a big three points because you know if Leicester can 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 get that win half twelve tomorrow, put some pressure on, on the Ipswich and Leeds, they've got some tough games. And hopefully um this time tomorrow night the picture can be looking a bit brighter. And we could potentially be back at the top and that's how quickly it can change. But then again, we could be, what, five, six points beyond this time tomorrow. So, yeah, it's another massive game and we just have to take it one game um, at a time. And, um, yeah, I think that's that's the way to do it. And, you know, it's cliche, but it's true. Um, if you think Sutar Cody will get minutes, if anyone's going to be Cody, and I, I would like Cody, I would like him to start, to be fair, because I just think we need some more experience. Um would he see Grave? Yeah. Um, if we lose to Brighton, I'll just say, yeah, big curtains. Uh, would he start with Brighton? Um, probably not. I, 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 I wouldn't be completely against it. 
And if, if you asked me that a few months ago, I would have said that's a stupid question. But to be fair, I wouldn't be completely against it. Um, but then again, I would, I, I, I would prefer someone with a bit more pace. Um, but so yeah, if all Brighton did start, I don't know. You need to play bad against Bournemouth. Though. That's what I mean. Uh, Cody's a leader. Yeah, 100%. 100%. But uh, yeah, boys, I think that is where we're going to wrap it up tonight. Thank you very much for joining us. Obviously, you haven't gone live for a long time, so some good numbers in tonight. Make sure to drop a like um, before you head off. Massive just help the channel out. Uh, if you're watching this video back on playback or got any final thoughts, feel free to let me know uh, them in the chat. And fingers crossed, we can get a big three points tomorrow. Uh, obviously, just, just like I said, I'm going, on, I'm going away tomorrow for, for, I think it's about five days. So I will be back for the next game, which is obviously Saturday. Birmingham City at home, which is once again a big one so um yeah boys i'll see you then let's go through the final few comments um not sure if you may know what's happening with braybrook or, or will alves um i think will alves picked up another knock from the under 21s i think and i believe braybrook is back training but i don't think he's ready uh for the squad or anything like that to be fair though, i thought i know will alves was on the bench he all oh, i don't know was he on the bench I, I think he was in the squad against chelsea so i'm not too sure but i think so um, but yeah, cheers, boys. Thanks for coming in, and I'll see you in the next one. Fingers crossed, we get the three points tomorrow. Oh, that's it. Uh.